My name is Laura Wilhelm, and I am the Props Master at Chanhassen Dinner Theater, and this is my 11th season. I was jobbed in as a draper on Fiddler on the Roof, and that was three fiddlers ago. I started here as a child actor when I was nine. I would say I've acted in probably seven or eight shows. 42 shows, 64 shows here. Well, Dinner Theater started in the early 50s, and there were pretty much hundreds of dinner theaters. Today, I think there are maybe 10. But the 10 that are left are fantastic. When we opened the dinner theaters in 1968, I was 13 at the time, and I remember the building being under construction and walking through it with my dad and him telling me, well, that's where the stage is gonna go. And so kind of with big eyes thinking, this is all pretty amazing. My family was always interested in theater in general. My dad was very creative and certainly an entrepreneur, but he was also a really practical guy. And he thought, you gotta be able to eat dinner and have theater and have it all kind of roll together. And our family, although we sold the operation in 1989, we've stayed connected. And it's also always like coming home. So many of the people that are here are people that worked for our family all those years ago, which is pretty remarkable. Michael Brindisi, our artistic director, and myself were working together as a creative team when the theater was for sale and went out and found some investors. We were able to buy the business and, you know, ensued our new roles, really managing the day-to-day -day operations and turning it into what it is now. When we're looking for a play, I try to keep the audience first in the top of my mind because I don't want to pick a play that I want to do. I want to pick a play that they want to see, and then I I think, secondly, I look for something that I believe has some kind of important message. Our first day of rehearsal is really special. We call it the first day of school. The emotions are really bright. There's a lot of people who maybe have been gone who are now back. It's a lot of energy and excitement about the creation of a new theater piece. First day of rehearsal is probably the scariest day for me. It's even more scary than first opening performance. It's like a blank canvas, and you go like, oh boy, I hope we paint the right picture. So, you know, you can take a deep breath and jump in. And it usually starts with Michael Brindisi in his sermon-like way, his vision of what the show means. This is our 50th anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we spend way too much time concerned about what, we're, what we need to get, the money we need to make, the job we gotta have. All that stuff is a big waste of time. Instead of just, like the play says, every now and then, it's a good idea to just pause in our pursuit of happiness to just be happy. And that's what I think the play is about. For the 50th season, we're doing as a big celebration the great Irving Berlin musical Holiday Inn. You know, this is the largest show we've ever done here. It hits close to 200 costumes. We are one of the four shops in town where everything is produced here. And most of it is produced from ground up, which is becoming a rarity across the United States. We go through the design of the show, all of the designers, from the costume designer to the wig designer to the sound and light designer. Then we jump into music rehearsal, and that's a fast and furious process. And then usually we're up on our feet day two or day three. And lights up inside. Hi, sorry I'm late. I had papers to grade, and there was snow to shovel, and all the excuses. <laughs> that's quite all right. What I love about Michael Brindisi as a director is his sense of humanity in the work. I feel like the first part of it could move a little more. Michael is a fantastic person to work with. He's an actor's director. He lets the actor use, you know, their intuition and their skills, but then he's also there to guide you when you need some help. I like that much better. It gives us some place to go with the dramatic part. Tam works right alongside with Michael, so it's a seamless production of where the, the dance starts and then the scenes end. So it's, it works really well. Yeah, I think then Tony handed hand the bouquet on, oh no. Okay. When so. I choreograph a show, it really comes from a place of storytelling before the dance. I love 
love working with Tam as a choreographer because she really knows how to take each individual person's talent and make them shine. It's like, boom, boom, yeah. Huh, yeah. A lot of people say this, but it's true. Working at Chan Hassan is like coming home. This particular space and these particular people, because several of us have worked together for many, many years, has a very familial feel. There are fathers and mothers in the group. There are aunts and uncles in the group. There are the irritating cousins in the group. <laughs> but it, at the end of the day, you know, you have each other's backs and um, you have to have trust to be able to do what we do every night with each other. And this is a group that I trust. LPD night is not scary for me, it's sad. Because I stop being a part of it. It's like a kid going away to college. I don't have too much control over it anymore. I usually stand here and watch the show two or three times a week at least. And then the actors know I'm there. They see me in the back. They know I care. And me, I'm on to the next show. 50 years is kind of an amazing milestone. I actually remember talking to my dad about the age of the theater on the occasion of the closing of I Do, I Do, which was 25 years ago. He asked me whether I thought this place would ever be on the National Register of Historic Places. But I remember telling him, well, it has to be 50 years old first. And he just kind of laughed and said, 50 years, now that will be something. I always hearken back to that short conversation and, and realize 50 years really is pretty remarkable. Oh no, you haven't a chance when I go into my dance. I love musical theater. I fell in love with it as a child. It is a high art form, but it connects to people in, I think, a very simple and true way and brings people together. And I think that's what really makes it special. When talking isn't enough, you burst into song. And when singing isn't enough, you burst into dance. And there is just something in the joy of being able to express yourself fully. I actually love theater because of the impact you can make on people's lives. When I did the play Phantom, I got a letter from a gentleman saying that the play for him was about not wasting his life. And he said, as a result of seeing your play, I decided to call my ex-wife and say, we need to get back together and try again. And he did, and they did. And I was like, oh my god, the power we have on that stage. And I've never underestimated the impact you can have on an audience. <laughs>